It's been more than 10 years since GTA 5 released, which is the same time between the releases of GTA San Andreas and GTA 5, with unforgettable characters and enough chaos to fill a lifetime. The time gap between Grand Theft Auto 5 and the upcoming new title in the GTA series is the largest it's been and in those 10 years, one question has echoed through everyone's mind, where the heck is GTA 6? And apparently, GTA 6 is gonna be the crowning achievement. Rumors point to a sprawling map encompassing multiple cities, hyper-realistic AI that reacts to your every move, and even dynamic with our systems that can turn a sunny beach day into a tropical hurricane. Sounds epic, right? But epic takes time. The cash cow called GTA Online. Rockstar Games also made a lot of money and gained a lot of popularity from GTA Online, which was the online multiplayer mode of GTA 5. They kept updating and expanding GTA Online with new content and versions for different consoles. This also took some of their attention and resources away from GTA 6. So, why rush out a new game when the old one's still raking in the dough? This continuous flow of cash gives them the freedom to take their time with GTA 6, ensuring it lives up to the absurdly high expectations. RDR2 Rockstar Games also focused on developing and releasing Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2018, which was another masterpiece and one of the best titles from Rockstar so far. It was more technically advanced than GTA 5 and required a lot of resources and time from Rockstar. This also delayed the development of GTA 6. Building a better Rockstar Remember all those headlines about Rockstar's crunch culture? Yeah, not a good look. Thankfully, things seem to be changing. Rockstar's making big strides towards a healthier work environment, with improved benefits, better schedules, and even converting contractors to full-time employees. This means happier devs, which hopefully translates to a happier development process and a better game overall. Rockstar Games also lost some of its veteran developers and important staff over the years, which may have affected the development of GTA 6. Some of the key people who left the company were Dan Hauser, Leslie Benzies, and Laszlo Jones. Unique experience. Zelnik, the CEO of Take-Two Interactive says that. I think that's a challenge that the folks that Rockstar face every time there's a new iteration of Grand Theft Auto. It needs to be something you've never seen before on the one hand, and it needs to reflect the feeling that we have about Grand Theft Auto. That's a big challenge for the team. Now, Rockstar's answer is just seek perfection. Seek nothing short of perfection, and we'll get there. Next Gen Paradise. Remember the leap from PS2 to PS3? Or from Xbox 360 to Xbox One? Those were pretty game-changing. And guess what? Next Gen consoles are here, and they're about to blow our minds. Rockstar wouldn't settle for anything less than pushing those babies to their limits, which means harnessing every ounce of their power to create a jaw-dropping GTA 6 experience. It's all worth it. So there we have it, a whole buffet of reasons why GTA 6 has taken its sweet time. And you know what? I'm okay with it. Because if all these rumors are true, then we're talking about a game that could redefine open-world experiences. A game that will push the boundaries of storytelling, graphics, and sheer player freedom. A game that could be, dare I say it, the greatest Grand Theft Auto ever made.